really these last few that we watched, uh, there was a brief mention of transhumanism uh, using CRISPR technology. And uh, apart from that, there was a pretty good thing about um, dead scientists. And then there was talking about uh, people who invented stuff that would have helped the world. Uh, a lot of their patents, they get a big company, oh, I want your patent. We'll have it right out. Years ago, there was a rumor about a man had invented a carburetor and he got like 120 miles. And that was how he changed his carburetor. So, one of the big uh, vehicle manufacturers approached him, offered him a bunch of money. I'm sure it was telling him how his design would help a lot of people. So he sold it to them because they had the money to promote it. He didn't. And they put it on the shelf because the oil companies talked to the car companies and talked them out of it. I think the guy was later found dead. One that I remember just a few years back, they had a uh, big get together, a big competition, you know, see who has the best zero energy machine. Now, zero energy means just that. You put no energy in it whatsoever. And yet you get energy back out of it. Well, this little guy flew in. He had a machine that was perpetual motion. And uh, as long as you watched after it, you never had to do nothing once you got it going. And you just spun it to get it going. So that's a zero energy. You're not putting any energy in other than the initial surge. Uh, he won a check for like $100,000 that they were giving away. And the CIA for years had this gun that they can dart you with it and it'll inject something in your system that they won't be able to trace and you won't die of a heart attack. And that's exactly what he did walking to his car. But I was going to show you just a few of these. Uh, this is a list of dead, dead scientists. Of course, they were assassinated with a question mark. Paul Wadhams said that in the weeks after Professor Laxon's death, he believed that he was being targeted by a lorry, which tried to force him off the road. He reported the incident to the police. Alternative health doctors found dead in the last two weeks. Um, and I want to let you read that. You know, you, you can look on there. These are not just common deaths. And all I've done was I went to Bing, which I'm not real fond of. Famous dead scientists. And from there, you just look at which link you want to look at. Um, but this is quite a bit. This dude was in robotics uh, for NASA and JPL. Jack Parsons Laboratory. Uh, I think that's what this is for. Uh, died 2014. Uh, topical disease expert. AIDS and Ebola expert. Nuclear engineer. University Professor in astronomy and astrophysics. Pioneer of the cervical cancer vaccine. PhD in electrical engineering with expertise in GAM, gallium nitride. Nitride. 
This is funny. Well, it's a, I can't say that. Died in 2013. Firefighters find charred body of murdered pediatrician who was once, who was hogtied, strangled, and set fire in her basement. He had an off road accident. I can't pronounce that. Shot in the head. He got a team, got killed by a uh, attack in a home invasion. Zach Green, 35, died in court. July 4th, in a boating accident. Some of these could have truly been accidents, but I don't look at any kind of heart attack as an accident. And I'm sure alcohol played a huge part in this. Robert Dickey jumped from a bridge. Anyway, the list goes on and on. This dude right here, renowned Alzheimer's disease researcher, has died after being hit by a car in a while. Now, a lot of these up-and-coming pages, they have their, uh, now you'll see some of the same faces. Michael Lee Wong here. Lee John Wu. <laughs> and, you know, I'm sure most of these people would have said, oh, it's coincidence. There ain't no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and get the date too if you want. We're done in September. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. This is well, T.O. Well, not T.O. And he's going to look as high as 2006, Lee John Wu. You're going to see a lot of the same people. SteveQuail.com Fifth holistic doctor 33 died in Florida making five dead and five more missing. same people. And I mean, I don't know. Steve's had, he done this work a long time ago, he didn't let quit. But that may be where a lot of people are getting their stats from. Recently dead scientists.
I did my check. Oh, I'm over here. Just for the heck of it. Playing these wood. Club 27. This is star and musicians. They have died when they're 27 years old. Quite a few, huh? I'm even surprised. Erica Gardner. James Gardner's kin. Oh, she was watching the police. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is on rent, who takes absolutely no sides. It's pretty important to watch and read. Info wars I really don't get along with. He's got something up for the 2000. <laughs> 2009. Well, there's no one speaking for it. Recap 80 dead scientists with photos and shocking details. Oh, we can go right here. Hundred dead scientists and microbiologists. That's all I'm going to be able to do today, Miss. Uh, we done it yesterday and today I had some tests run I'm just exhausted but I got another one coming up called eugenics and that and CRISPR if I can I'll try to start it but I'm gonna finish this one because I've just skimmed and scammed through that just hitting the high points um, that really don't give you an overall good picture of what it is, of what this is anyway. Uh, the scientists that are alive are the ones that they bought their patents and their research uh, and just stopped it in its tracks. Like the guy who worked for NASA, to my understanding, uh, he invented the a Volkswagen, uh, not really a bug, like a doom buggy uh, that ran on water. And he drove it from coast out in California all the way to D.C. He was going to give this knowledge to the, the government so that they could make planes and I mean, tanks and stuff like that, and never have to worry about them running out of fuel. Uh, he died under mysterious circumstances, but his brother took over. 
Um, and he done something that his brother, the one that died, didn't do. He kept all the plans in his head. The one that's took over now, he made them out open. It's hard to get into that because they don't just accept every anybody. But uh, I got tickled. There was a story on there one time that this guy in the 78 tomorrow went to one of the meetings. Nobody had ever met him. Nobody knew who it was. And they were trying to figure out why their cars wouldn't go just on water. You know, why would this not work? And he was listening to them. And they said, well, what do you think? He said, I don't know what to tell you. He said, that's all I've ever put in mine is water. We've been all over the place. And he checked it out. Sure enough, he was running on water. It was actually hydrogen, uh, H2O, uh, two molecules of hydrogen, one of water. You can use any kind of water, salt water, sewer water, water water. It didn't matter. But he drove off. Now on the show, it just talks about the one head guy. He had some kind of rare disorder or disease. And they had a cure for it for years. And they bought that woman's work and then what they call shelving it. They just stuck it on the shelf and said, you're done. Never offered it to anybody, never tried to cure anybody. And in that show, it's dude Frank. He's wanting to get that, but he gets in with these people that want to live forever. One of the main lies the devil told Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden is you'll live forever. Little did they, know, did they know they were created to live forever. And the other one was you'll be as gods. And uh, we'll see that on the eugenics part that's coming up. It's, and CRISPR plays a big part in that one as well. So CRISPR's able to fix some diseases, and you can actually order your own kit. I want blue eyes, smart, or I want brown eyes, athletic, green eyes, you know, whatever. You get to order your eye color. The, the baby's attributes, you know, everybody's got a gift. Uh, they have cows over in England that are allegedly being milked with, except the milk comes out, it's human blood. They've got, they cross the spider in with uh, uh, goat milk, they, some gene that the spider has. They've isolated it because the spider's web is the strongest thing known. Now imagine it being the size of a goat. You know, not the goat, but the milk coming from the goat. It is a weird, weird, weird world. And we'll get more into that on the next video. Bye. That's all I'm going to be able to do today, miss. Uh, we were done it yesterday, and today I had some tests run. I'm just exhausted. But I got another one coming up called Eugenics, and that and CRISPR. If I can, I'll try to start it. Uh, but I'm going to finish this one because I've just skimmed and scammed through that, just hitting the high points. Uh, that really don't give you an overall good picture of what it is, of what this is anyway. Uh, the scientists that are alive are the ones that they bought their patents and their research uh, and just stopped it in its tracks. Like the guy who worked for NASA, to my understanding, uh, he invented the a Volkswagen, uh, not really a bug, like a dune buggy. 
that ran on water. And he drove it from coast out in California all the way to D.C. He was going to give this knowledge to the, the government so that they could make planes and I mean, tanks and stuff like that and never have to worry about them running out of fuel. Uh, he died under mysterious circumstances, but his brother took over. Uh, and he done something that his brother, the one that died, didn't do. He kept all the plans in his head. The one that's took over now, he made them all open. It's hard to get into that because they don't just accept ever anybody. But uh, I got tickled. There was a story on there one time that this guy in the 78 tomorrow went to one of the meetings. Nobody ever met him. Nobody knew who he was. And they were trying to figure out why their cars wouldn't go just on water. You know, why would this not work? And he was listening to them. And they said, well, what do you think? He said, I don't know what to tell you. He said, that's all I've ever put in mine is water. We've been all over the place. They checked it out. Sure enough, he was running on water. It was actually hydrogen, uh, H2O, uh, two molecules of hydrogen, one of water. You can use any kind of water, salt water, sewer water, water water. It didn't matter. But he drove off. Now on the show, it just talks about the that one head guy. He had some kind of rare disorder or disease. And they had a cure for it for years. And they bought that woman's work and then what they call shell with it. They just stuck it on the shelf and said, you're done. Never offered it to anybody, never tried to cure anybody. And in that show, this dude Frank, he's wanting to get that, but he gets in with these people that want to live forever. One of the main lies the devil told Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden is you'll live forever. Little did they know, did they, know they were created to live forever. And the other one was you'll be as gods. And uh, we'll see that on the eugenics part that's coming up. It's, and CRISPR plays a big part in that one as well. So CRISPR's able to fix some diseases, and you can actually order your own kit. I want blue eyes, smart, or I want brown eyes, athletic, green eyes, you know, whatever. You get to order your eye color. The, the baby's attributes, you know, everybody's got a gift. Uh, they have cows over in England that are allegedly being milked with you, except the milk comes out, it's human blood. They've got, they cross the spider in with uh, uh, goat milk, they, some gene that the spider has. They've isolated it because the spider's web is the strongest thing known. Now imagine it being the size of a goat. You know, not the goat, but the milk coming from the goat. It is a weird, weird, weird world. And we'll get more into that on the next video.